Hi there! Today we're going to learn a new language. Not Spanish, Greek, or Arabic, but rather the language of chess players. That's right. Chess is not just a game, but a way of life that has its own method of communicating. The board is kind of like a playing field, just like soccer, football, and other sports are played on. Let's look at the board, or er, field. Maybe you've seen one of these before. Now imagine that you were trying to tell a friend living thousands of miles away about a game you played or a cool move you made. You're not sitting right in front of them, so you can't show them with your hands. And you can't say, first I move my pawn here, then my knight there, because there is no here or there when you're not sitting face to face. In order to solve this problem, a long time ago, chess players made up a way of talking chess that can be used by everyone. To understand this, we must understand coordinates. As you can see, we've placed letters and numbers along the sides of the board, or er, field. These allow us to identify any square on it. For instance, if we are talking about this square over here, we notice first that it is on file C and on rank 3. So we say it is C3. Let's try another. This square is on file F and rank 5. So what do you think we call this square? That's right, F5. Now you try. I will highlight a square and you pause the video and see if you can identify it. Did you get it? It was on file B, rank 7. So the correct answer is B7. If you understand this, you should be able to name any one of the 64 squares on the board, or er, field. When we get to learning the pieces, this will be incredibly useful for us, as we can say pawn to E4 or knight to F3 instead of just here and there. That way our friend will actually know what we're talking about. We can even play the game. Okay, Chess NYC, I think we're ready here. Let's get to work.